this is a tutorial on how to give your pull-up dolls a non-permanent tattoo. Because I do notice that not many people know this method and I want to share it with you guys. And for those who see this tutorial and think that it's also for their 12 inch dolls like Barbies, I don't know if this will work but most likely it will. So the two things you're going to need is a pen sharpie. Now a regular sharpie you could use if you want to do like a thick lined design but that can look really messy so I highly recommend using a pen sharpie and you have to use matte present wrapping tape you cannot use shiny present tape or something like that or else it will not work it has to be matte so let's get started I'll Jasper and let's say I wanted to give him a tattoo on his chest I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to show you though the simplest way to do it and for more intricate things like with colors, I'll explain that later in the video. Alright, so first what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of matte tape and lay it down on a hard flat surface. And for the design, I'm just going to do a lightning bolt to keep it simple even though I really can't draw lightning bolts. So there we go. So. Next, to prevent the ink from either getting in your hands or just rubbing off in general, if you make intricate tattoos like I do, you're going to put another piece of matte tape over the design. And then, to make sure it fits nicely on the doll, you could cut up the tattoo a little bit to fit evenly or something. So let's test this out. And I'm not going to cut it in this video because I'm too lazy to get the scissors, so... And there you go. You have a lightning bolt on his chest. And the best part about this is if you regret giving your doll the tattoo later on down the road or just want to change of pace and are going to recustomize your doll entirely, you can remove the tattoo because it's just like a sticker. And speaking of stickers, you can actually use stickers as tattoos as well, although I would recommend they are those transparent stickers you sometimes find and not regular stickers with a white background, otherwise it's going to look really cheap. About color tattoos, I highly recommend using colored pencils and not markers because it doesn't turn out too well. With this tattoo on Bill, I tried using markers first and it ended up looking like a blotchy mess. And plus, the colored pencils make the look feel more natural, like it was printed onto the doll. So that would be it for today guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you have fun making your own doll tattoos.